Outstanding show. We got my man P. Eric Lott, a gospel rapper, in the studio tonight, y'all. We're going to interview him and talk about his movement and what he's doing as far as being a gospel rapper, why he chooses to be a gospel rapper, and things of that nature. It should be an outstanding show tonight, y'all. It's your boy Capital D. Welcome to another episode of Holleration Live, the noise that the world is making. So, like I said, y'all, tonight we got Pierre a lot in the studio. What's up, Pierre? Not much of you. Oh, man, I can't complain. It's another episode of Holleration Live. Thanks for being in the studio with us tonight. We just want to go ahead and ask you a couple of questions about your movement and things that you're doing and, and uh, keep it moving. All right. All right, so... <coughs> All right, so Pierre Lott, is that your stage name or is that your government name? Yeah, that's my real name, no gimmicks. No gimmicks, no gimmicks. Okay, so is that the name that you choose to, as far as your stage name as well? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I got you said no gimmicks, all real. I understand that. So where are you originally from? I was born in St. Louis, Missouri, but I was raised in East St. Louis, Illinois. Oh, okay, the show me stay, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, all right. So who influenced, I said, who or what influenced you to be a gospel rapper? Um, before I even started doing gospel rap, um, I was growing up listening to hip hop, like from the LL to the Jay-Z to the Nas. Um, but what influenced me to do gospel rap was listening to a, a rap, gospel rapper by the name of The Truth. Who was uh, who was on Praise the Lord when Kurt Franklin was hosting it, and he did a song called "A Portrait," which really inspired me to want to know more about not only him but also the people who he affiliated with, and also what inspired him to do it as well. So that's when it got to the point where I wanted to do gospel rap, gospel rap as well. Okay, okay. So I heard you mention names like Jay Z and LL Cool J and people of that nature. So instead of going that route, you chose to go ahead and do it gospelly. Now, what would you say is the big difference between the way that you choose to rap and then the way that like LL Cool J or Jay Z and people like that nature? Uh, what would you say the, the big difference between y'all two? Uh, the word. Point blank, like studying the word and realizing that the things that they rapped about uh, clashes with the things that the word speaks on. So that's what makes it a difference. Is even though that what they glorified is the things that are somewhat necessary, mm -hmm. but not beneficial. Okay. It's the it's the fact that the things that they glorified can be used to give God glory if it's in order. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so basically, you saying that they're not, they're not really going find God. They're just kind of doing their own thing and 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 reaping the rewards. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I understand that. <clears throat> so, who are some of the groups or artists that you respect and look up to? Uh, once again, the Truth, Flame, who's from St. Louis. Uh, Jason and Thizzle, who also is from St. Louis, uh, Lecrae, Trip Lee, Tadashi, uh, Shaolin, uh, <laughs> the list goes on and on, man. Even some local cats from St. Louis, like STLian, Rio, um, C. Micah, Robert Dean, and, uh, and once again, the list goes on from there. Okay, all right, definitely, I understand that. All right, and once again, y'all, it's your boy Capital D, Holleration Live, the noise that the world is making in the studio tonight with my man Pete Earl Lott, a hot gospel artist. We're going to talk to him tonight. We got one of his tracks that uh, I actually had the pleasure of working with him on, the Peter song. We're going to play that in the, in the middle of the show, and uh, we're going to keep pushing, y'all. It's Holleration Live, the noise that the world is making. 